Hello Blender user, my name is Eric. Today we will retopo this head. As you can see, I already did it. But the problem is, I didn't show, I didn't give good uh, instruction how to do it. So now I will do the ear and I will try to explain more and to be more clear. And as um, a second video, I will put the one hour video that I did to retopo this head, the old head. So I have all the setup made already. I will undo those setups, remove those setups. Uh, yeah, so that together I show you how I will we will do we will set up our blend, blend or settings so that you will have uh, the possibility, the easy way to retopo in Blender. Yeah just realizing that I didn't really organize myself when I was doing it. So let's me put this retopod head in its own collection. Because now we have in collection, we can just take advantage of them. And in here, I'm having light and camera. And here I have retopo, uh, din topo and topo head well so since this one is here we can just hide it for now and uh, that setting is already off and then another setting should be off as well where is it this is really great this is really really great i like it i like it those sidebar actually if you don't know the new sidebar you can just flip it on the right like that you can flip it on the left. Simply flip it to the left. Just like that. It's it's a new that the young Severin has 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 committed just like a few few days ago. Mm, okay. Now back back to our subject matter. So this is the way I will do it. And then let just first show the origin and the 3D 3D cursor. Where is the origin? Show all origins, yeah. And the 3D cursor. So uh shift S snap the 3D cursor there. One front view and then as I said uh, as I said I will to put this ear here and then on the third video I will kind of like uh, mix them, match them together. Add a plane, a shift A. Where's that plane? For oh, heaven's sake. Shift A, add a plane. Oh yeah, I'm adding it. Yeah, this is something that, let's undo. This is something that, uh, yeah, you should people should know that I have to explain that when you're adding something in a collection if you are not having the scene collection selected I mean let's say adding an object it will be added only on a selected on a selected collection so before adding an object you have to make sure that you're selecting the right collection that you want your your mesh to be added so in this case, that what I did, this collection was selecting and I was adding an object. It was adding it in that collection. And since I hide the visibility of that collection, I couldn't see anything that was going inside. So I was thinking like I'm not adding anything. But luckily, as you could see, let me see, let me add it again. Let me add again. Like I'm adding a plane there. I'm not seeing the plane. I'm wondering like, where is the plane? The plane is there, but luckily there is this thing. I'm adding another plane. Now you can see it's showing a mesh with number two. This is something is good as well with this collection, the new collection. They will show you the number close by the triangle which represents the mesh, the triangle icon which represents the mesh. They will show you how much, how many, yeah, how many objects, how many mesh you have on that specific uh, collection 
so for me to see it i had just to do that and uh, delete one of them and then take this one m key send it to the scene collection and then it's out there and then it's not here anymore it's out there and then we can easily hide it again and uh, where is this yeah hide this one as well we don't need it right now select this plane go to edit mode grab the plane with x put it sideways so that if you are in the center like this your origin you you, you move the plane so that it pass the origin you don't want it to be attached to the origin because we are doing just the ear with these settings go to modifier tab add the mirror modifier now you cannot even see the mirror modifier now here you screen can see it the mirror modifier is there because it has been updated already okay the setting that i usually have is this bar here in this bar i usually check this one and then uh yours probably looks like this yeah this is what yours will be looking like this but you click this one and then you click here you change it to face and then ah, this one has been changing as well and then you check project or individual elements you check this one as well like that and again and again you don't need to to check clipping here because they are not they are not meeting in the center uh -huh. yeah and then you just start to snap it you if you the thing is like most of the time i will be doing control click so with the vertex select the vertex selected g to grab you snap it here it will snap and it will get stuck on top of the din topo head this plane ver 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 vertex this plane vertex will stop snap but as you can see it, all our plane we just reduce it to this size the problem we're having now is that we cannot see the plane so if we select it like this plane is selected but you cannot see the all of it and that can be disturbing when the rate of to remediate to control cut to, to 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 avoid that problem you come here on this arrow mm. and then you check the front this front here when you check it you can see our plane let's call it low res mesh that's a wannabe low, low res mesh it's just visible now all of it and then now if i select two vertex and then i do control click control click control click this is what i will be doing most of the time this is the part that i didn't explain in the first video and then i realized that how people will understand it if they don't know which button i'm doing i was assuming that people will already know about the control click so i just decided that it would be easier and much better not assuming about this problem on this so i'm having my first edge loop there sitting right there waiting for me and then i'm having these two as well shift d them oh if you want to go like now i'm not using all this part of the 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 the, 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 the screen and then i want to take advantage of it i can just do control tab that's the full screen mode but it's not really really the full screen mode because you can still do this and then when the arrow has changed when your cursor has changed to the arrow you can drag this upward to hide that one and then these guys and then you can still drag this one upward now you can uh, you can collapse menu 
it's hidden like that and then here is where you can go labs menu you can there is another thing that you can do here yeah so you can have this one like this you can even you can hide it even more yeah i believe you can hide it more Edra. now let's not let not get distracted let's continue here shift d snap it there because we're having we're having that snap on 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 in individual faces on as you can see easily so what i'm doing when i'm i'm, I'm, I'm or i'm doing i'm selecting i'm selecting the vertex and g key to move it or i do because my in my case i use right click select i use right click select and then i'm clicking right click and then i'm dragging it i'm not lifting my finger I'm, when I'm, I'm, I'm letting my finger down and then i'm dragging it when i if if i want to confirm i will click left click this is a little bit slow this is a little bit slow uh, the let's say the, the a bit faster version of doing it it's confirm and i'm calling this confirm release on confirms release confirms when i'm doing that then i will just click drag and then when i'm releasing my finger it stays there that's one this is one of the things that's kind of like speed my workflow when i'm i'm retopoing reason confirm so another thing is here let's do this control x control r r this is something that i will be using it like all the time all the time since we don't have the 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 add-ons since we don't have add-ons yet and, and the reason is just like blender isn't the making is still in they're still making it they're still building it so it's not ready yet put one guy there and then f key to fill that fill or face it f key again and then let me add this one here Yeah, I don't know if you notice it, but this is really F12, F2 uh, add-ons that I'm already so bad into it that every time I'm, everything that I do, I feel like I'm I'm using it. That that's really one of the great add-on you find out there, and it's free. F2 Toretto Po. If you have never used it, I highly recommend it. Please don't don't let yourself don't live without that add-on. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much we have here. Okay, this is one of the things I do as well. Hmm. Now this is guy is biting me. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't a good idea to hide that guy down there. But that's okay. We can live with it. That's okay. So this is something i wanted to show usual i count the number of vertexes one two three four five usually i don't count it because you will see the selected vertexes there and it's always before closing a hole you should always you want it to be mm, divisible by two 
I don't remember that word again. The, the thing that it should be divisible by two. It should always be divisible by two. If it's not divisible by two, it means you will have a problem closing it. Your mesh won't be all quad. That's something as well I do when I'm retopoing. I try to have my mesh always quad. In this case that I'm having a triangle here, let's see the workflow, the loop flow. Yeah, in this case I'm having a triangle here. I will select these two with Alt, Alt, Alt select, and then the V key, uh, V key, and uh, X. Oh, no, 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 no. Right click to 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 deselect, and then J, G, G key, twice, and slide it on that direction. Yeah, so it was V key. Control the uh, cancel the the, 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 the the grab mode because when you do V key, you get into grab mode instantly. Delete the grab mode and then do the JG double drag, drag slide, and that's how you will feel it. You will click it, I mean, you will avoid having a triangle on that exact circumstance. Slowly but surely we're moving toward of filling up our our ear. This is another guy. Select those, control click there, and then having it. This is something I was one of the things that I hate with control click because it intends to move your vertexes, your vertices from different places. It moves them even though you put them there, you want them to stay there. But that control click will try to do some stupid rearrangement, rearrangement that you didn't even ask for. Okay, let's continue. Less complaining, more work. Another control click there. F key. So you can see already like we're having these guys these two guys there that we can if we want to feel like this and then having this one here fill that one having this one fill that one fill that one as well And then add one cut here. I don't know if you notice it already. I am just my cut. I'm putting it so that I'm thinking already beforehand. If I have a cut here, I will put another cut here because I will match those those uh, cuts really well in in the in the slowly. Yeah, this is the annoying thing. In this case, we just do E and leave it there. Do those there. Did you guys notice this? My cursor in edit mode is it has changed. Yeah, let's see. Let's go to the object mode and back to edit mode. Oops, sorry. Back to edit mode. Yeah, this is the, the right. It was changed and it didn't update himself. Hmm. Strange. So more of this. And then we're adding more over there, another one there. We are almost there, almost finished. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we're adding more about here. Fill there. This is a very stupid loop I made. That's something you shouldn't do because you will have a when you'll be subdividing it, you'll be creating triangle. Okay. The, in the ear area as well, probably you will be really worrying about triangle on this side of the mesh. But just to make sure that when you are having your 
or checking your face loop flow this is show that as you can see this face loop this pink line will show where the f the, the edge will be going when you be subdividing it if you you use mm, let's just say like they will meet and then they will create they will create some um, some triangle something this is something it should be a void it should be kind of like yeah avoid in hundred percent situation always avoid that so what we'll do we come in here we're changing the the flow of that v cut and then select those one as well slide them back here so this one this one hmm this one should come like this and then this one let's remove them first because then they are limiting my thinking yeah so we're having this one like this and then this one as well because it was those two loops there this one like this this one as well and then selecting those two oops who's that hey, hey. what was that key let me see it oh yeah nothing nothing bad and then we add some more here Control click again. We're making it, we're helping it to go down there and then to die in there. Because nobody will go inside of the ear checking if you have closed your your faces down there. Nobody will go there. So we will take them inside the ear and let them die in peace. And and then we have another branch that is coming then you can see i can i can join those two really without any problem like that you see so that this loop is going to die there they will never meet never and then this one this one is really going to die there they will never meet so this help us to close these two guys let's look at them well Mm, these three guys here yeah add more three three loops yeah and then j they snap this one stops so bad okay mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. and then here as well let me sort out this one because it seems like it's a crucial list there v g slide G slide as well again and then do this select that one mm -hmm. and then we can now make sure that this edge loop is going nowhere dangerous and then that one is going out there this one is going in we don't have any problem with that this one as well we don't have any problem and this one is going over there we are more or less ready we're not having any conflicting face loop flow that this will mess up in the long run our our way Maybe close this one yeah and then we're having hmm i really miss that bar that i hide i don't even think about i don't even remember how to bring it back let's see hmm how come hmm interesting Let's see layout. 
yeah it's there in the layout yeah we just create another one and make sure that our setting is signed this and then we are ready to go again uh, yeah just stop here and then remove that one over there remove the gizmo yeah get it ready to go again so this is what i was saying now you can clearly see that i'm having six vertex vertex vertices yeah vertices vertices selected there you can see like i'm having 10. so that means i can easily and happily close them i know that i will have only only quad only quad if you don't know what quad is you refer to the manual now basically quad is it's more like a four age no uh, yeah four four age four age uh four age face a triangle is a three age face and then a a end gone you don't want end gone my friend they are troublemaker especially in blender you will cry if you use end gone it will slow you down but some people can get by with the end guns but end guns are not really your friends you will suffer if you're using particle with end guns you will suffer if you wanna your select selection mode your select methods will be really weak you will suffer so that's why i usually like to keep blender my way of working only quad because it just helped me to avoid problem because blender it has been built on top of old version the old version was only triangle and quad and Bmesh, which brought uh, end guns in Blender, which was just on top of what is this line? Oh, the floor. Yeah, Bmesh was just on top of the the the. Hmm, where's the grid floor there? Yeah, Bmesh was just on top of the old implementation, so they didn't think about it well on the. Um, how to match particle and other selection ability so it doesn't really help much now our ear it's almost almost complete mm. let me try to let me let me build this part let me build this part And something as well i don't know if you know if i have noticed it already like if you select one and two and then you click f in this kind of situation it will fill it really well you don't have to select all the all the all the vertices and then f yeah just like that And then this one can continue. Like that. And here we have this guy going up like that. Let's see how we drag in that guy. Yeah, this one is our friend, this one as well. So select this guy. See, I alt select all this edge loop there, and I will uncheck that one E and then S, bring it up some, and then check it again. And this one snap them on the surface 
select from here to here. Oops, select from select from here to here. Oops, why shortcut is doing that? And here and then. Hmm, that was no good idea. Yeah. Sometimes, because it's doing it with your the, the snapping is going with is it's, it's it's snapping according to your view. That's why you need a good view to snap them. It doesn't snap just on your. It doesn't snap just like that. This is like this head when it will finish. I will show you another way of retopo with um, with one modifier. The problem with that, with that modifier is like if you don't have a base mesh, then you are you are stuck. You are stuck if you don't have a bench base mesh, base model. But here I'm showing you starting with the plane, so you create the base yourself, and then you are ready to go. But in others, you will need that. Let's see. You will need that. Mm hmm. Now, more or less, we are there. So, Oops, that was an awkward moment of silence. I was actually thinking about something else. I didn't even remember that I was doing this tutorial. Oops. Sorry. So most of the time I'm just doing F extrude and I keep doing it again and again. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting. Let's cut here. Let me get this one along here from the outer. Let's cut. Let's continue. Let's see. Can we unite those two? Let's bring it well. If, like now, this part of the mesh, if you go like this, it's starting to annoy you, this part, because I'm trying to focus on my AG and then that guy is moving all the time over there. If it annoys you, do this. Go to modifier panel and then hide the other part. Just like that. Yeah. Now we can move on without him so well 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 i can mix them or i can just have you all the way around you are the guy that will stop you will save us from a lot of thinking f and then c it that's great we have it close we put no way undo Looks like it was good, but it wasn't. Yeah, and then more over there. F, and then you go close that guy. A 
as I say, now we are almost there. As I said, we will unite them with the head in a very appropriate way in the next tutorial. So this is just mm, mm, let's see now how we do that part. Yeah, this part is not really awful, it's not really difficult, isn't it? What about this guy? No, you don't want them. You see, this is another loop that you don't want to meet. You don't want them to meet. Something like this, and then this one, we can... This one is going like that. So let's close this one first. First thing first, so let's close you guys. F. So we're having this one like that to go behind the head, the ear. I'm having this guy standing just right there. Alt. This is Alt M key. So I will snap it. I will snap this one here and then I will merge them two together. So it's merge the last one. So I'm having this one like this more or less closed. And then I think I have to pull them a little bit up. So the way I go, I have those guidances, those um, some principle that I already know that I would I wouldn't do that. Otherwise, I would get into problem in the long run. So and then I start just to fill up the gaps. Hmm, that will be a problem, right there. You can sense it. I can already sense it but i know how to tackle it i know how to tackle it i know how to yeah something i forgot to say here since english is not my mother tongue i will appreciate if you are an english speaker and then you like my tutorial and you find some mistake on my way of saying and stuff like that please help me teach me some english how to pronounce something and so it will be just the exchange between 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 us you give me something i give you something you give me something in return so just something like that oh i forgot to remove those guy yeah so Please comment, criticize, share. Mm, this is the problem that I was saying. So we do it this way, and then we close this one. This one, just to avoid the problem. See, we close it. And then we have this one here, this one, Alt M, merge them, center, just that, like that. And then what is this? I mean, four. Oh, that, that was really, this is a miracle. How did I do that? Let's see now our each flow. We have good one. We have good one. If it was not good, it wouldn't slide. And since we have big faces here, I can just add one loop over there and, and snap them well on place, in place. And I can add another loop here. Yeah. I think we are all set. We are all set. Neither just this is just me now trying to 
to try to be perfect something i hate yeah try to overdo now that we're having that that you don't have you don't have to worry about how many edges left how many vertexes you have because you will not close it you don't close it now it's just about uncheck that guy snapping mode es what's that yes why is this one oh no it's just popping on my side bring it back and then g this guy like this and then we'll pull it later on for me at least i will say this here is is done thank you for watching and you can even even stop already to, to watch now because this is just my my money my how do you say it in english my bad habit my bad habit of trying to tweak till I will die try to tweak and tweak and tweak yeah you can see that's here it's not really aligned well So we are all set. So Moretopo, it's for me at least I would say it's not difficult. It's just like it's a bit time consuming. It's it, it means a lot of pre-knowledge to do it. But if you don't have it and you find yourself into problems, you're starting to feel like okay, how can I do this one? How can I handle this one? And then you you panic so don't panic try to try to exercise more that's what i will advise so that ritopo is not a nightmare anymore okay actually good for allowing ritopo the old head so you have a nightmare see everything with on, with vertexes on them all right that's just about it so see you next time when i will have time I've been busy lately yeah so let's try to now add that shoulder guy see this is our head the next time we will match them we'll unite them both we'll unite them so see ya ciao are you still there bye 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 bye, -bye.